successful that time, not every other time, but that time I was successful, we had four candidates running. I was the only one that had any experience, not that that makes much of a difference, but I had hoped that I'd get elected based on that. And we hired a very expensive political consultant to come up with some sort of theme, some sort of catchphrase to get myself elected. This show I remember, yeah, no problem. Okay. <laughs> Something that would help people, you know, remember to how I get elected. And they all came up with this brilliant slogan, the real thing. Coca-Cola, for some of you that a time, a long time ago, people read Rabbi Kamenetsky's columns in the Ami, the Oasis, talks about the old days, the old days, Coke was it. Everyone drank Coke. <laughs> Coke was it. And the theme for Coke, the slogan for Coke was it's the real thing. So that was the slogan for my campaign. And as weeks went by, I finally realized that it's true that hopefully the experienced candidate would be elected, the real thing. But I got very anxious. I was thinking, how will they remember that I'm the real thing? Maybe it's the other three that are running against me. And I had a very big problem. I thought it over. I said, this slogan, we're going to eliminate the slogan, and we're going to say we all need simple. And that, in fact, was a very corny campaign, but to this day, even Rebecca Bullenfeld remembers. So it happened to work. But, for Rabbi Oldbound, there's no question that when you say the real thing, please forgive me, no one has any question that we're talking about Rabbi Oldbound. 